Lovejoy. I read in the evening paper you've been involved in a frightful accident. A fire. It wasn't an accident. That's why I'm here. Philip should be back shortly. Dr. LaGrange, he's been staying here. I know. Philip LaGrange is a murderer. He killed your husband and almost killed Lady Felsham and myself. He killed your husband for the Judas pair. But Philip sold them to my husband. No, he was broke. Your husband didn't tell you because of Philip's pride and because you were all friends. LaGrange stole them back, but he didn't realize that the turnscrew was not in the case. Oh, it can't be true. Please, it can't be true. Sorry. He must have broken his heart to part with them. You've no idea how obsessive collectors can be. He had to get them back. You can understand that, Lovejoy. Just as you can understand how I had to have the complete case. No. It's true. Everything he says is true. Would you like to see them? He did kill James. He's just admitted it. Admitted what? A man forces himself into the house carrying a loaded gun and accuses me of murders, burnings, robberies I've never heard of. Surely anyone would try to humor him into reasonable behavior. What did you bring? Mortimer. I don't think we should put too many finger marks on such lovely surfaces, do you? We? Oui. I'm sure you wouldn't kill me in cold blood, Lovejoy. And a duel would provide superb irony and the perfect resolution. I offer you the privilege of the Judas pair. Philip, you're mad. Muriel, consider the benefits. Should things go right for Lovejoy, He'll have the satisfaction of knowing that justice was done. And whoever wins, no one can be blamed afterwards. I'll tell the police that I was made to fight a duel by this maniac here. And alternatively, Lovejoy will have the proof that I killed James. Court the police, Muriel. I'm disappointed. Don't be. They are beautiful. Identical twins. I'm afraid the room's not quite 60 feet. Where would you like to choose your ground? I would like us both to sit at the table. Isn't that a trifle unusual? Oh, there are precedents. God, please answer, please. Right, Muriel. Just wait for the police. Does that chime? Yes. At the chime, then. I'm dead the minute I pull the trigger. You don't even have to fire at all. I don't know what you're talking about. I know how James Field died. It's 
all right, it's all right. He's only fainted. The firing mechanism looks perfectly normal, except that when you pull the trigger, the bullet comes out backwards along a concealed barrel. Or in other words, you line it up against your eye, you take aim, and you blow your own bloody brains out. I always thought dueling was an affair of honor. Somebody had those flinters made deliberately. Some Regency butt was dashing around bold as brass, and he couldn't bloody lose. Yeah, and that someone forced the world's greatest gunsmith to make a pair of guns that way. You speak Latin. Rex may fake it. The king made me. Could have been George the Third. He was mad as a hatter, or the Prince Regent. He was a wencher, gambler. So there was a Judas pair, and the king made them. No, 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 no. Not the king himself. No, one of them, George the Third, or the Prince Regent, forced old doors to make them. Oh. But he had to explain it. That's why I made the inscription, hoping that someone someday would know what he meant. And that someone was you. King made me. You know, if I didn't know you better, Lovejoy, I'd say that's brought tears to your eyes. <laughs>